95 and Ann Road. The 8 News Now I Team. You're watching the Valley's News Leader with Brian Loftus, Denise Valdez, Ted Florendo, and Chris Matthews. This is 8 News Now at 11. A secret Pentagon program that studied UFO encounters ended back in 2012, but the senator who sponsored it thinks it should be revived. Former Nevada Senator Harry Reid admitted his involvement with the UFO project last year. Now the 8 News Now I team has found a document from 2009 in which Reid made the case for protecting and expanding the project. The I team's George Knapp has our story. The U.S. Navy pilots who encountered tic-tac-shaped objects off the coast of California in 2004 were flummoxed by the astounding technology of the unknown intruders. So were the pilots who encountered the so-called gimbal UFO in 2015 off the coast of Florida, as were pilots and sailors in dozens of similar incidents. These kinds of cases inspired Senator Harry Reid in 2007 to initiate a secret military study of UFO encounters. Reid publicly acknowledged the study last December. George, I think these studies are so loaded with information. Um, the reason I say that is that we, we learned a lot. Reacting to news stories about the now canceled study called ATIP, Pentagon spokesperson said the study didn't learn much. But that's not how Reid described the program in this 2009 letter to the Deputy Secretary of Defense. The letter is not classified, but a footnote says it is exempt from disclosure under FOIA. Only 14 people were copied, all of them with security clearances. In the letter, Reid said the DIA study to that point had focused on, quote, advanced aerospace threats and disruptive aerospace technologies, that the ATIP study was already a success, and that exotic technologies could be catastrophic if ever used by our adversaries. Lou Elizondo, who was in charge of ATIP until he left the Pentagon last year, was surprised we had a copy of the letter, but acknowledged it is legit. Yes, I have read that letter. Um, I think that letter portrays a very compelling picture to the Department of Defense that uh, the preliminary results of the ATIP program um, were, were warranting um, an increase in the protection of that information. Although Elizondo was instrumental in getting the release of three Pentagon UFO videos, the files and reports generated by the ATIP study have not been made public, and he's not authorized to spill the secrets. Elizondo now works with To The Stars Academy in California. One of his colleagues, physicist and longtime CIA consultant Dr. Hal Putoff, recently told a science group in Los Vegas, the existence of the formal study allowed reluctant witnesses to step forward. And a number of the Department of Defense and the public community officials have come forward to talk about the reality of this phenomenon and the fact that there were programs going on. Elizondo declines to name names, but says there's no question ATIP produced valuable absolutely. intelligence. Absolutely it was successful. It was absolutely successful. That is undeniable to the point where uh, that point was raised to senior levels of the Department of Defense. And so why would Pentagon spokespersons claim the study produced little? The right hand doesn't always know what the left hand's doing. We, they try. Um, I don't think it's deliberate or on purpose. I don't think it's a misinformation campaign. Senator Reid told us he hopes some of his former colleagues in Congress are paying attention and that they'll authorize a resumption or expansion of the study. George Knapp, 8 News Now. Senator Reid, who is recovering from cancer surgery, wrote the letter for the purpose of asking that the UFO study be protected as a special access program. Now, we do have additional resources on our website, including links to a new interview with the Navy pilot who encountered the Tic Tac UFO.